me. Then you, when you do that, you do your fingers like this. You cross it all the way over, all the way over to this, this, this middle finger right here. So it's B flat, F sharp, E flat, B. Then B flat, A flat, B flat, C sharp, and then roll the A flat to the B flat. So it's. Like that. So we start off like this. Call it out for you. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm starting to play the notes in my left hand so I can free my right hand up for that solo. So we, we, we kind of stack it up. Stack it up like that. And I'm going to call it out A flat, C, C sharp, F. The right hand is going to be E flat, A flat, C. E flat. And I know you're looking at me like this guy overlaps his notes. Well, it's it's all about feel. It's not about, you know, technical aspects of a of a book. It's more about feel. The next note here is that that transition. Left hand is gonna be, it's a tritone, it's gonna be G, C sharp, right hand is gonna be F sharp, B, E flat, F sharp. Now here's that run before we go into it. Right hand here is going to be F sharp, B flat, B, E flat. So, and then uh, at, the, at that F sharp, B flat, B, E flat, you just drop that F sharp down to the F. So it's. Was like do the regular way. Here's the jazz way. That's now when you would do that is when like he's shouting and they're, they're going into it and they're getting ready. They're not really shouting, but he's just getting into it. We're not shouting yet, but then there's a pause in it and. Excuse me, there's a pause, so then you can take time to hit that, and then you hold this out. Now you gotta hit that one. Remember that when you hear this all the time? So um, there's a couple ways to do that. One of the ways to hit that run is just simple. Um, um, it's basically, it's basically B flat, A flat, F sharp, E flat. But um, before, when you hit that B flat, you kind of roll that A flat into that B flat. So it's, so I'm rolling A flat to the B flat and F sharp to the A flat. So it's, it's that's when you want to just add a little touch, a little flavor in there. So you shout. Mm. And before you get back to the one. Hit it like that. Or instead of hitting that B flat when you did that, you can actually hit that A. Just down like that. So you go. And hit the A. Like that. So it's just. Just hitting it like that. Or you can win before you get to that E flat, you can go to that to the C sharp to the to the uh, E flat. Remember this run? Now let me show you that. Um, let me show you that transition right there. So we're going like this, right? Let me hit that F sharp, B flat, C, and then I'm gonna hit a F, A flat in the bass. Left hand is gonna be E. B flat, C, E flat. It's a large stretch. The left hand of the bass is going to be F. The right hand is going to be E flat, A, C sharp, F sharp. Left hand is going to be the B flat in the bass. And remember, you can hit all those tritones with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So B flat in the bass, the right hand is gonna be D, A flat, C, E flat. So it went like this. Now, instead of going to the one, what we like to, what I like to do, I call it resetting the shout. You reset it. So we we doing the transition. But instead of going to the one, we reset it and go back to the A flat. So we go. Reset it. Reset it. Reset it. doing your solos you kind of want to do your solos as if it's like a as if you're a drummer with your fingers you kind of you kind of hit the keys I do that a lot you know, hit the, you kind of run them Jazz one. Let me show you that one. That's E flat. We roll that up. E flat, F, F sharp, G, B flat, C. And then C sharp, C, B flat, A flat, and then F sharp, G, E flat. Now, if you want to play something real crazy with your um, with your one chord, you know we call it the one when you're coming back home. Play this chord right here. That's a real ugly one. It gives you that, that jazz kind of feel. Or let me show you that one. That's the left hand is gonna hit the F, and you're gonna hit F sharp, and the A, and then the C, and then the uh hit the F. So trying to give uh, give some more experienced people a chance because a lot of people you know have been saying I've been catering a lot to uh, beginners and I just wanted to give some advanced people some more stuff over here so we we'll, we'll, what do we do 